do Like you always do Hold my hand and I'll be in the eye so I Hello guys, it's Ali. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We are just about to head out the door. I think this one is being eager. He's like, come on, mum, let's go. We're gonna go to Arthur Swallows this morning at the Antiques Fair. I think they've got, I actually thought this was the last one of the season, but I think they've got one in October as well um, in Nutsford. They do have them everywhere else in the country as well, but I mean, our when they come to our local area, so we're gonna have a browse this morning. The weather's dry, but it is still dark. <laughs> I feel like I'm really blue on camera. I don't know if that's any better, but yeah. So that is our plan this morning. And I've also got, we've got our parents staying today. So my mum and dad are coming over. They're um, <clears throat> stopping the night. And then I think Tom's mum is also coming over and stopping the night. So. I am kind of hosting family later on this afternoon, evening. Tom's going to cook. So we're going to go to the farm shop as well this morning, get some of, um, some of, some bits and bobs for that. Um, what else have I got on today? I've also had a few deliveries that I thought I could share with you as well within today's video. But yeah, I just thought I would pick up the camera, especially starting the morning, go to this antiques fair. I thought we could get some nice little vlog footage there, see what is available to purchase and fingers crossed we find some good bargains or if not it's just a good little browse and good little way to get your step count in on a sunday morning so yeah that's the plan i say sunday it's actually saturday <laughs> we've got an extra day of the weekend Of your nights just sitting on your own. I should have done so much more. Like giving you the things you asked me for. And I know I was wrong. It's what I try to tell you with a song. Tell you with a song. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I'd make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? Oh. All right, just had a bit of a chaotic uh, moment, but we're back home. <laughs> we are back home. Basically just had my parents come over, but they've just like ran straight back outside. So it's been like a quick high and by, and they're coming back over later. Uh, oh, this probably isn't the best place to sit you with that light. So let's spin you around a bit. See my Lego there in the background. Um, I wanted to show you the bits that I got from the antiques fair today. So let me just go grab them. There's a Barney hair, I don't know if you can see that. Just on the lens there. Okay, we had quite the successful trip this time. I was really happy. I didn't get like anything like big in terms of furniture wise, but I did get a few little finds, which I am so happy with. So I'm gonna start with these two bargain paintings so very rustic they're obviously just the actual painting themselves just on like a cardboard mm, they are marked but i don't know and you can see on the back there it says seven pounds but it wasn't it was actually five pounds both of these were um i don't know who it's by if anyone recognizes it but oh h nichols um but yeah, and then, yeah, so a fiver. And then this one was also five pounds. And this one is um, marked at the bottom there. And again, five pounds. I thought these shades, these like deep, warm, is that not screaming autumn? I feel like I need to get this on the wall pronto. I need to make sure I've got frames for these. The thing is with a lot of these antique places, when you see artwork a lot of it is already in the frame so half of the price is like towards the frame and sometimes like there was one big piece of artwork that i loved the art but not the frame and it's always a bit of a shame that you have to kind of pay over the odds because you're paying for it as a, a set 
um, and vice versa as well there were some frames that I liked the look of but I didn't like the artwork inside but again it's not just the frame I'm buying I'm buying the art as well with it so um, yes yeah, actually although there's loads of selection for artwork it's quite selective you've got you know there's plenty to browse there but there's not always the perfect one so with these being five pounds I thought I could easily just frame these myself even frames like this that I've got on the wall here that I just take the glass front out of so that it has a matte finish and they're just from HomeSense so we'll find some frames for those with like a nice mount as well and then um what else did I get so from True Patina who I actually follow on Instagram and I nearly bought this beautiful kind of cabinet to go in the kitchen but once I did the measurements it didn't fit and I was gutted but I was chatting to him at the fair and I think he's going full time with it as his job and he always has I always think his section he goes every time I just love it so that's why I follow him on Instagram True Patina if you want to check him out but he has some gorgeous things I've got quite a lot for in the garden from him like big pots um, but today I got from him this, I don't know what the specific term is for these, but they're like a rustic wooden um, with this like metal spire that you can pop a candle on. So for indoor use, for outdoor use, however you want to use them. But he had quite a few of these. They were £15, but I also got a stool from him which I thought this would be great to have styled up in the utility I saw when I went into the white company they had some of their kitchenware styled up with um, a couple of things on top of the stool a couple of things down below and that kind of added height I quite liked so obviously I've got little stools like this I've got one in the utility room I've got one in my bathroom that's a bit bigger that sits on the floor um, but this is a good size I think for the worktop for any room to be honest with you but yeah so for the two I paid 50 pounds he has lots of like benches as well if you like the bench at the end of our bed that we have from home barn he has things like that as well anyway I saw another guy selling loads of random bits and he had a like a trolley with loads of like uh vintage French kind of um linens so he had these linen covers there's actually two here I need to run these through a wash but these beautiful olive green from France linens and also this cushion which again I just need to give a wash it says hand handmade lessons 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 it is um again a, like a french rustic now these sort of cushions that you see um in like um dalesford they were selling stuff like this like vintage ones and i swear they were like 100 pounds plus some of them and this one which is a beautiful color and it's just very simple in design it's just got a simple seam running down both um sides like down the middle again it needs a wash like it smells a bit musty i don't know whether to send this to the dry cleaners or just to bung it in our wash but anyway for the for that and two covers that was 30 pounds or 25 25 pounds it was 25 he asked for 30 i said 20 he said 25 i said sold um so yeah really happy with them i also saw um a, again another stand that i really liked quite a few bits from and i bought three things from her stand firstly these tongs now i'm thinking even just for styling these came with a washboard so i think this is originally like a vintage washboard like where you would tong your clothes and like rub it against the board i don't know but i didn't really have a use for the board so i asked if she would sell them to me separately and she said um she would so 15 pounds for that or i think it was 35 for the set so she was happy to sell me just the tongs alone but me and tom both loved these for some styling maybe on the outdoor kitchen shelves so anyway i grabbed that and then i also got from her again i'm thinking for outside this massive mixing bowl and it's just a most perfect color so it's got a slight glazed top this section is like a glazed finish but still very rustic and then the bottom is just like a, a stone and then inside as well it's glazed and then this rim is just the original stone so once we've given this a good wash out i just think it's beautiful so originally this was 65 and that's the marking on the bottom not sure she said she got all her stuff from france so 
um yeah that uh mixing bowl 65 the tongs 15 and then this massive board again we're thinking for outdoors but also for on the island for when we're hosting it would be really nice to have as like a display board so this vintage french breadboard it's called at 45 pounds um but she did very kindly do a deal for me with getting all three items for 100 instead of 135 so yeah, we've got a bit of a saving there and it's huge as you can tell. So this is like a server platter with loads of different cheeses or biscuits and stuff on. I think would be lovely and it is a breadboard as well. So like even just for outdoor use for bread carving. Love it. So I'm really happy with all of my antique finds there. Then en route home, we popped into Lakeland to grab uh, Tom's mum wanted. Oops, Tom's mum um, wanted some of you know like the washing up gloves that I love the these ones, and they're still on offer. Buy one free. Buy one free. Buy one get one free. Or maybe they're buy one get one fifty percent off. I think they're buy one get one free though. Tom went upstairs to grab these. Whilst I was looking downstairs, Christmas section. <laughs> So we're about to get a little bit festive here, but yeah, we stockpiled up on some of those gloves for her and um, I've got a couple of pairs as well. But uh, yeah, they had all their Christmas stuff in it and they had some gorgeous, like real retro kind of Christmassy things. I'm thinking this year, having had a quick look in some of the shops, I'm thinking maybe kind of going with a bit of a retro Christmas vibe with like wrapping and there is some wrapping that I've got from B&M that I wouldn't say is retro, but we could have those maybe wrapped up in the, with under the tree in here. But for in the other room, I'm thinking more nostalgic 90s Christmas. Well, not full blown touches of it. Anyway, when I saw these, this is exactly what I mean. These kind of retro christmas chocolates we can pop in the christmas bowl it is um an advent actually so each one is numbered if you did want to have it as an advent calendar or if you wanted to have these if you've already got an advent calendar like that you do a diy with you can get these and obviously just pop them in each um door and yeah so that was i think 14 pounds and then these were a couple of pounds so i grabbed these they're a bag of sugar glazed soft gingerbread cookies i thought that as it shows on the image as a little mug topper for festive hot chocolates and like gingerbread lattes. Hiya. Barney's come to join. Um, yeah, and the fact that they're glazed as well. They just look delicious. I don't know what that was. Delicious. I also got again for a couple of pounds these hot chocolate drops. They had a couple of different um, shapes of these, but I went for the little reindeers, just milk chocolate reindeer shaped drops to create a rich and luxurious hot chocolate. You can kind of melt them within milk or an already, if you've got a hot chocolate made, you can kind of like have it as like a little topper or melt it in the milk. Um, and then I also got, um, what else did I get? Oh, Christmas pasta. Why? Okay. I've gone full on Christmas with this section of the video i'm always thinking should i have saved this you know what the woman in the in lakeland said to me i like that christmas comes to the shops in september because it gives me the chance to have a couple of months so that i don't just have to spend everything all in one month and it'd be a really costly month you can kind of spread it out a bit and i thought you know what you're right we've got like a few paydays rather than one month to then buy everything at christmas and obviously christmas isn't just about buying you don't have to have bought loads of stuff to have a good christmas but if you do like to have a little retail splurge around christmas time like i do then it is nice to spread it out so anyway we've got some christmas pasta that will pop to one side for maybe a little festive vlog oh guys look at this i got the these again as little toppers for hot chocolates you've got your squirty cream on top and pop one of these on top they're just milk white and dark chocolate holly leaves with berries on they look so yum that's my little lakeland haul um anything else in here no just more gloves all right i'm gonna shut this door for a second because i thought i would do a bit of a try on because some of these PR parcels that have been sent to me are fashion. So let's start with, uh, where should we start? Let's start with Pretty Lavish. I 
really, really great the quality of pretty lavish, especially for their knitwear. So firstly, this um, gorgeous again. See what I'm saying? Knitwear, beautiful. This is. Does it say the name of it? The cream mal. I think it's the Amory Amory Grown Neck Knit Jumper in a medium. So, what I love about this neckline and what I thought, um, why I thought I would get this is because obviously it's cream, so we're makeup prone. But that little slit on the back just makes it a bit more accessible to sort of get over your head. Still be like a nice high neck jumper, um, but yeah, like I said, be able to get it on without getting makeup on it straight away. Really nice long cozy sleeves. I feel like the length of this would be good for, uh, let's just try it on. Be good for wearing with leggings as well. Just realised as well it's got slits on the sides, but also on the sleeves. So yeah, very, very comfortable for a kind of like high neck jumper. I'm a big, big fan of this one. I've got this one in a medium, so you can see the length of it here, just paired with jeans, but if you have leggings on with it, it's nice length of four with those. So here we have the lacy button down top in taupe again in a medium and try it on i think i'm right in saying they did this cardigan i love how long the sleeves are i think they did it in other colors as well but i went for this dark i might be wrong in saying that so check online i'll leave the links to them below if you did want to shop anything but yeah, this is uh, just a really nice kind of, you could obviously wear it done up, completely open with like a little vest underneath. Um, just a really nice color for autumn. And especially for that transitional kind of like not needing a thick knit jumper like that previous one. I thought this one was a good little option to have in my wardrobe. Okay, next up we actually have a co-ord. This is the, uh, what's it called? The Laney Boo Clay Knit mid axis Skirt and Wrap Top. So I'll try these on together so you can see what they look like as an outfit. Oh, I need to lower you for this one. This is a lovely set. I'm so happy I went for this one. I love the colour of it. It's kind of like a, um, a stone kind of colour. It's not true white and it's not grey and it's not beige. It's just kind of like a, yeah, stone. I got both in a medium. I would say the skirt, however, I probably could have got away with a small, so don't size up in the skirt. Um, or like if anything, go down a size, I would say. But otherwise, I think it's such a lovely set. And obviously mix and match as well with these. This little knit skirt with like a basic white tee, some chunky boots in autumn. I'm saying like that, because <laughs> when I'm filming this, it doesn't feel like autumn, it's quite warm outside. Um, but yeah, for like colder months. And then equally the top, you could wear with like some jeans, high-waisted jeans that I was wearing before. So yeah, super happy with this little set. Let me know of those items which are your favorite. Now let's get into the next PR unboxing. Okay, family's arrived. We're gonna have to scrap this and probably film it tomorrow. False alarm, it was actually the neighbors. I've just spoken to those and those, <laughs> those neighbors. And um, yeah. It's not family just yet, but if I cut off and see you tomorrow, you know that's why I feel like when we've got family here, I gotta be present. Although I probably will show you what Tom's cooking because a lot of you like to see um, his chefing abilities. When I always say that as well, people think that he's actually chef, he's not a chef. When I say chef Tom or Tom's chefing tonight or whatever, he's not actually a chef, he's just the chef of the household. Anyway, I also got a parcel from Lovell. I've never, I don't think, shopped this brand before, but they very kindly reached out and offered to send me a few bits of which gratefully accepted because if you have a look at the website, you'll see, and you'll see from these clothes, they're very, you know, like my everyday attire, lots of leggings, kind of athletic yoga type clothes, things like that, that even if you're not doing a workout, but you're just running errands in. I always like to wear an outfit like that. So yeah, from Chloe and the team, thank you so much for sending over these to bits. I will show you them and also try them on. So we've got, ooh, we've got a few things in here. Okay, so we have in here a long sleeve uh, top. This is called the Empower Jacket in a medium. This would be really nice for horse riding as well. I like to wear these kind of 
um, slimmer fit tops for when I'm riding. So we've got that. We've also got a top. I think this was also called the Empower top. Yes, in a medium again, and again in black. So it's just kind of like a little racer, um, kind of like not crop top, but you know, um, racer top to wear. And then we've got two pairs of leggings to try. So we've got the black Empower leggings in a small. Um, these look they might be a little snug for me but they've got the pockets at the side as well good for popping your phone in for working out so i'll try these ones on but then i've also got given these and these ones are called these ones are a different fabric they are uh the name of them's not on there oh yeah there it is everyday high-waisted leggings just the everyday ones in a uk 10 as well yeah i love this empower range the fabric of this top is lovely so i've got the um long sleeve top on which is perfect the top underneath the racer top i would say if you're in between sizes size up because it is a little tighter fitting but if you want it to be more supportive then stay true to size but it's such a lovely fabric. The leggings that I've got on, these are the everyday ones. And I think from touch, I prefer the fabric of the Empower set. So I'll try those ones on as well. These ones are, they're just plain and simple leggings, if I'm being honest with you. Let me try on those leggings so you can see the comparison. But they are nice and high-waisted. I will say that. Give good points for the fact that they're high-waisted. Okay, now I have on the Empower leggings. I definitely prefer the fabric of these ones. I will say that they do run quite small. So again, in between sizes or just size up. Um, although I know some people like them quite supportive and, what's the word? Almost like compression style. Um, but I personally don't, I don't like things too tight and uncomfortable. So although these uh, fit fine, I probably, my preference would be to size up one. Um, however, having said that, again, nice and high-waisted with these, perfect as a set with the Empower top and um, zipper, I'm obsessed. If you would buy anything from these items, I would say this top, it's just beautiful. And of course, thumb holes is greatly appreciated. <laughs> I definitely am gonna be wearing this riding i think it would look lovely all like yoga parties anything but um yeah big big fan of this it comes with pockets as well i also got Zen. Oh, guys look this is like i said to tom this is showing my age because getting a national trust collaborative post with um crack hoppers like pr post is music to my ears. I mean, we're at National Trust pretty much every weekend. Um, so yeah, Crack Hoppers have collaborated with National Trust and they've sent over, let me just lower the camera so they can bring you down here with me. A box full of goodies. How nice is that? I had no idea this was coming. So I didn't pick any of these items. These were all just sent to me. Thank you so much. We've got a couple of flasks. I feel like we've actually got a set for me and a set for Tom. Although I actually really like the colours and everything of Tom's set. We've got Therma flasks. We've got beanies each, of which again, I love the colours in. Um, oh, actually I like both colours, to be fair. I think I would only ever wear these, you know, like actually winter dog walks rather than styling them up. But yeah, I've got a couple of those. And we've also got fleeces to go with them. So I've got this one to go with the blue set this is in a 14 um just like a nice fleecy quarter zip or button i should say and then we've also got this in a large this is the bolder lumos jacket um zips down all the way and yeah just got like this like black panel running across it i'll try them on just so that you can see i feel like that's a given you can kind of tell what that is but let me just try on this jacket i really like this definitely thieving it i don't think tom's gonna be wearing it i think it's gonna be a mini jacket a fleece jacket yeah i would say a large for me for like a nice oversized fleecy jacket cute proper dog walking adult and you know the countryside just makes me happy hence why we're national trust members i've just thrown jeans and a t-shirt back on because i also ordered myself from depop a suede jacket and i saw it and i thought oh that's really nice and i just feel like with suede being such a huge upcoming trend 
I was looking on sort of like H&M, Zara, and there wasn't really anything in my kind of color palette that I would pick. And I thought, you know what, let me check secondhand. Let me look for thrifting um, a jacket. And when I came across this one, I just loved it. So hopefully, I mean, it has just arrived. So I haven't yet seen it. It's from the brand originally, Thomas Nash, although that wasn't advertised. I didn't know where it was from. It's this shop on Depop that sells loads of different kind of jackets, leather jackets, suede jackets. They had some other bits on there as well, but they actually had a huge selection. But anyway, this was the one that stood out to me. Let's see, there we go. And it's just a zip up. I, do you know what? I was expecting it to come quite musty and a bit like fresh from a charity shop, but it's not. I wonder if they've maybe already dry cleaned them. Oh, it's a bit big. Oh, I don't know. What do we think? It is an extra large, so I knew it was going to be oversized anyway. I kind of like it. I'm just looking in the mirror. I mean, and I have only got it on with a basic white tee. Let me throw on that jumper that I had from Pretty Lavish. Because that's probably more likely how I'm going to be wearing it is in the thick of winter when it's cold. And I want, you know, like a cold sunny day. Nice high neck, cozy knit. Perhaps I might as well take this label off. Oh, can you hear our doorbell? That definitely is family now. So I'm gonna end it here in terms of sharing this PR with you. But I've got some other bits, non-fashion bits that I'll show you in the morning. But yeah, this is probably more likely how I'd wear it with like even a big thick scarf, like when it gets real, really cold. But how nice is that color? I'm really, really happy with that. Um, yeah, love it. It is definitely oversized. I'm wondering if I can maybe take it to a tailor's just to have the sleeves. It's the sleeves that are too long for me. I don't mind the fit on the body, but I just think the sleeves need to be a little shorter. But yeah, I am a fan. Great purchase, definitely check out secondhand. Speaking of which, I definitely want to, I know I keep saying this, I want to list some bits on Depop very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. I think it's just Freya Farrington on there if you did want to follow um, and purchase anything. But I will be putting like, I don't know, jumpers and joggers and stuff on there. Things that maybe I've had one wear that I'm just like, I'm not reaching for. Um, so yeah, coming soon <laughs> when I get a second. Good morning guys, it's now the next day. Mrs. Frizzy is out in full force. I have just been for a walk with the fam and it's raining, hence the messy hair, but we're having a chill day today, so it's fine. I thought I would just show you this delivery that I've had from Amazon. Love it. This is what I'm thinking to replace the bench down in the utility room, but Tom isn't here and I'm gonna get him to help me carry this downstairs. It's a pretty narrow corridor, so yeah, I'm gonna struggle by myself. So I think I will um, take that down later on with him, but for now, I just thought I'd show you, styled up with like the cushion that I got from yesterday. I might even buy like a seat pad for it and pop it down in the basement or just to keep a simple cushion on there. Yeah, it's just like a little cubby hole for all of the shoes and I'll show you what's currently down there. Just washed the uh, cushions from yesterday. I do need to maybe just iron the corners of that cushion that I just showed you on the um, bench upstairs. But we've got this like little pegboard up here and I'm thinking directly below it and underneath it, so shimmied in a little bit this bench to replace because this is just oh in fact i could use this seat pad although that might be a bit too big let's try it though um but yeah that bench as um in here i just it looks too sort of like modern for me um i like the more rustic feel and that pegboard is definitely more of a rustic pegboard that i got from an interior shop where did i get that from somewhere in clitheroe loom interiors i think it's called um so yeah ignore this bench and imagine the new one in there let's just see uh if this fits let's have a look it's 
ignore this cushion for now. Yeah, see how I just need to maybe iron out the corners. Oh, it could be the perfect fit. It's, mm, is it the perfect fit? It's probably not. It's probably a bit too, just slightly too deep, but even just temporarily. There's a little seat pad there. It also could do with being a little bit longer. Something like that anyway. We're going to have a play around with it. But that is going to replace the bench downstairs. I just much prefer the tone of it. It was actually quite affordable. It's not like an antiques find by any means. It's like a cheaper wood material but as you can tell the way that they've kind of stained it and aged it and made it quite rustic looking it makes it like an affordable option but gives the look for less so anyway yeah there's my new bench i did also get a couple of other bits from amazon which i could show you some of them are gonna be hello barney some of them are gonna be gift ideas for christmas for my christmas gift guides but in here i'm not gonna open it up just because it's gonna be messy but i'll show you a little sneak peek as you can tell it's just a jute doormat that is also going to go down in that utility room i'll leave everything that i bought linked on my amazon storefront if you did want to shop anything tom's just had to nip out like i said um but when he's back it is chill mode activated we ended up not sleeping the best last night because we had obviously our friends um not friends our family over last night they stopped the night so they've just left now and it's already like midday. Um, like I said, Tom's just popped out quickly. He'll be back soon within the next sort of hour or two. And then we think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the afternoon. Maybe even binge a new series. What was the new series that we saw that we wanted to watch? Night Sleeper? I think that's what it's called. Like, is it a new drama for BBC or ITV? It looks like it's a concept that i am going to enjoy watching kind of well yeah drama thriller set on like a train or at least the start of a train hence the name night sleeper and the guy one of the main guys in it is um he's from peaky blinders but anyway yeah i think that's going to be our afternoon but i did pick up this from amazon which i wanted to try now i love the provoke dry not dry shampoo the blonde shampoo to it's like a purple shampoo that i always always use a purple shampoo um at least sort of once a week i mean this is no advertisement for my hair today but oh, we'll just ignore my hair okay when you're blonde it's quite important to have if you want an ashier blonde as opposed to a warmer blonde it's quite important to use like a purple shampoo so anyway provoke who is an affordable shampoo brand that does them that I love they've got this one I don't know if it's new I've never seen it before but it's a black shampoo so it's called go ashy and this one is says cool silvery effect shampoo removes breastiness and adds a silvery tone so I'm really excited to give this a try uh, for blonde gray and balayage hair which like I said mine's pretty much balayage at this point can't believe it's like middle of the day already my lights are on in the bedroom because it's so dark i kind of like it kind of love it in fact um i also remembered i've just come upstairs to tidy up my filming room a little bit and i've just remembered as well that um i kind of got cut off yesterday didn't i once my family arrived to sharing with you some of the pr bits that i had received i'll keep this set on a hanger together um, and wear that, wear that soon. Anyway, I'll sort those out in a second, but I also had these bits to share with you yesterday. They are from Kit Kat. So this is gonna be today's afternoon coffee. We'll have to take a break with a Kit Kat. So they've sent over their new, oh no, it's a returning flavor, iconic returning flavor. Oh, sounds amazing, cookies and cream. Have they shrunk in size or have I just grown? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is like cookie dough flavour. I can't go over myself in the viewfinder that I'm vlogging. That's a better height as well so I can sit down properly and get comfy. Um, I also got sent this. Now this I've just quickly opened up. I don't think I've ever... No, in fact I definitely haven't tried this brand before iray this is how we pronounce it iray so it says hi there we 
hope you enjoyed discovering our race for smooth sculpted skin. The cream, lymphatic complex purify, boost and protect made in Switzerland. And then they've also sent the radiance firming serum. Let's give the cream a bit of a swatch so that we can, oh, the packaging is beautiful. It feels very luxe. So I'm imagining this is gonna be a bit more of a high end brand. How gorgeous is that as well? So, so nice. So this is the Deep Tox of the Cream Firm, Nourish and Glow. Let's give it a bit of a formula test. Oh yeah, very light. I'm not a heavy moisturizer kind of girly. I'm more of a lightweight. It doesn't really have, it's not scented I don't think, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but yeah, it's just absorbed straight into my skin. That feels lovely. I love the packaging as well. How nice is that? Very aesthetic, very on brand. I love that. This is Firm Plump and Glow Radiance Firming Serum. Again, very lightweight as you can tell. So working those two together I feel like I need to give it a proper test run. That's the only thing with skincare. I can, can sort of swatch and test and give you a review instantly in terms of the formula. And the formula is two thumbs up from me from these products. But until I've given it a proper test run, I can't really give my advice. But I'm excited to give that a try nonetheless. Anyway, I also, this is a very exciting packaging again festive from oh, did the lights just flash then or is that me the builders are in the garage i wonder if something's glitched a little bit we're having all the storage and an, like an upstairs space done in the garage which is cannot wait for because our storage room is chock-a-block full to the brim if you've got the space you fill it that's what everyone told me with this house moving from a two-bed terrace to a five-bed detached it was, you think it's big, you're gonna fill it. And guys, I filled it. There are definitely spaces I'm still yet to do, but I my storage room needs it sort out. There's lots of stuff down there that's like camping gear from Tom going to Glastonbury, his cricket stuff, um, loads of paperwork, all bits and bobs that need organizing. Of course, all the Christmas decorations. So I'm thinking once that garage is done, which hopefully should be within the next couple of weeks, then as I'm getting sort of for Christmas decorations, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a good sort out of that storage room and start organizing organizing things properly. And just having everything have a home. So storage, shelves, I can walk into the room, grab something from the shelf in a box, sorted. Not have to like step over things to get to something rummaged in the back that I don't even know is there, you know? Anyway, let's get back to festive chat with the rituals advent calendar this one is the countdown to christmas with 24 best sellers you just have to bend it up like that oh guys how cute is this i love the design of this one this year oh i said pop a door though do we want to open a door and ruin it or do we keep it a surprise i feel like you'll be screaming at me saying open a door should we open a door which one should we open do you know what let's not overthink the numbers let's just go in blind and pick this door seven winter mittens these are the ritual ayurveda scrub oh my god i've just opened that door and it smells amazing the ritual scent has hit me Treat yourself with a Christmas red scrub glove for soft and silky smooth skin. I do you feel like this is a filler gift, so I'm gonna have to open another door. You know, sometimes with advent calendars, you feel like things like that, they're fillers, because it's not a product itself. Okay, spoiler, if you're gonna get this, look away now. Let's go in with number nine. Oh, it's a big door. This is the Nourishing Shampoo, Argan Oil, and Shikai, Shikai Kai? Oh, lovely. Do you know what, the only, 
The only scent of rituals that I'm not a fan of or so far is um, the cherry blossom one, just purely because it's too floral for me. Uh, otherwise, every other scent I've smelt from rituals, I've been impressed with. Should we do one little other door? Go with 22. 22 candles. I love these. I had a, I remember from last Christmas advent calendar, these were perfect for in our downstairs loo. So I always like to have like a little votive candle in there burning. And this one is in, ooh. Yeah, again, lovely. This one's in the scent Suede Vanilla. How nice does that sound? Plus, I love the colour of that packaging. Do you know what? I might actually start burning this one now. Seeing as I've got my own advent calendar coming from Dalesford, I might even just keep up opening it. Why is that naughty? If they're duplicates of things that I've already got or things that I might not want, they're great for little stocking fillers for friends and family this year. That's what I did last year with a lot of my Rituals products. So do we just keep opening? Oh, this is my favorite scent that they do. The Relax Scent Soothing Body Cream, Lotus Flower and Jujuba. Love it. Actually, do you know what? They're moisturizers. They're like body moisturizers are lovely and their re-diffusers are quite nice. Oh. oh, that's so fresh. Anyway, I think for today, I am going to close off this video here. Um, I feel like it's been very chatty, sat down, catch up -y, at home type vlog that I hope you guys have enjoyed. Do give me a thumbs up if you have, subscribe for more, and I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Have a lovely rest of your day, guys, and I will hope to see you then. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.